Welcome back guys. So I have a lot of things going on uh, around here that is going to be a fairly slow upload week, maybe two weeks, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up in the case that you don't see me uploading every single day like I kind of have been almost for except for the past few days. Uh, but you know, I try to do my best to try to keep consistent at least. Um, but if I don't do a video every other day, rest or every day, rest assured that I will do one at least every other day. Um, hopefully, bringing you guys some good stuff. And this time around, I actually have something amazing. Uh, well. I don't know about amazing because I know this isn't exactly everyone's favorite, but Crimson Invasion, I managed to get a hold of a box uh, full of it. Actually, I got three boxes. If you checked out my Instagram, which you can follow, which uh, username is SpartanStrike07, uh, you would see that I actually have three boxes in total. I actually have two Crimson Invasion as well as a Forbidden Light booster box that I'm going to be opening um, probably, I want to say, one every week, so that way, you know, I'm not just like, you know, I just got these, so it's like, oh, splurge, and do open them all now. No, uh, I'm gonna hang on to a couple of them and do once, one, one a week, so that way, you know, I at least have something extremely exciting for you guys to open, uh, or to open with me and see what I got. But I'm gonna go ahead and start opening up this box. I kind of switched out the other one. This one was already partially open, so I kind of want to get this one out of the way. And I'm not gonna do, um, you know, some crazy uh, card trick or anything like that. I just kind of want to get this opened up for you guys. Uh, I wasn't planning this. I wasn't prepared for this. I just managed to get these boxes um, because the store that I shop at uh, one of the stores I shot at, Coliseum Comics, actually uh, took in a lot of the cards that I was going to try to trade into another place, but they weren't taking those specific cards. So, um, you know, I, Coliseum Comics took it in for me, so it gave me some credit, and I managed to get three boxes, uh, which was a pretty sweet uh, deal. I was pretty stoked about it. So thank you very much to those guys. If you're in the Orlando, Florida area, check them out. They're probably one of the best uh, comic book shops out there for sure. But anyway, like I said, I'm not gonna do some crazy card trick. I am just going to uh, open them up and see what I get uh, and just move on. Um, I know this is not everyone's favorite set. I don't know why exactly. Uh, I, I'm i okay with Crimson Invasion. I know there's not like a whole lot of really good cards. You know, it's not like a Guardians Rising or, or Ultra Prism or anything like that. But I still think that there's some good stuff in here. Uh, I know Buzzwall is obviously going to be uh, the best one to get, but you know, uh, there's, there's a lot of cards I like still. So maybe people should just give Crimson Invasion another chance. But I know it's kind of getting overshadowed right now with, uh, what is it, with Forbidden Light and Ultra Prism. So we shall see what will happen with them. Uh, anyway, so like I said, I think for the for the other Crimson Invasion box, I think I'm going to do it in a car because I haven't done a car opening in a very long time. Uh, and the car, even though it's not the best place, some of you guys like the car uh, scene because it just makes it a little bit more homey, I guess. But I think that's what I'll do. Seeing that, you know, it's Crimson Invasion. Not everyone loves Crimson Invasion. For Forbidden Light, I don't know if I'm gonna do another box. Uh, box video opening for it. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. But you guys let me know. Um, I just, I really want to open it. So I think, I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I, I guess I could do another video. I'm not, I don't know. You guys let me know. But let's see here. So far, we haven't really hit gold which is a little upsetting. And we've gotten a couple white code cards. I think I'm gonna actually separate those really quick. My white uh, code cards versus my green code cards. I think I said gold like not too long ago. So please excuse me. Uh, but let's see, I mean, like I said, not this was not everyone's favorite set. It's a shame. There's another white code card. I think I saw something nice in here. Nope, just another holographic. All right, I'm not even taking time to organize these. 
let's see. Come on, anything. There's a lot of cards I still need from this set. That was another white code card? What was my hollow? Oh, the Xerneas was my hollow. Okay. Uh, huh. I don't know how many booster packs I already opened up, too. I feel like it's a lot. I don't know. Guys, it's been a crazy day. I don't know. I also dropped some money on a... <laughs> Side note, non-Pokemon related. I dropped some money on a Spider-Man PS4 collector's edition that comes with a statue. I was super upset because I had heard it was sold out and I couldn't find it anywhere. No GameStop, uh, not even the online store had them in stock. And then I finally found one randomly on Target. The pre-order button was still there, so I just clicked it, filled in all my information for sh the shipping and the purchasing and everything. And lo and behold, I did confirm my pre-order, so I'm hoping I don't get like some sort of, you know, psych email in a few days where it's like, oh, we didn't know our pre-order button was active. So sorry, you're not getting the collector's edition. That would be super upsetting, but we shall see. Anyway, uh, I'm really excited about that game. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge, huge Spider-Man uh, nerd, and it just, it pleases me when I, find or see a new Spider-Man product being put out there. But hey, that's that's a whole different topic for a whole another day maybe. You know, I, I thought about maybe doing another channel in which, you know, I'll stream and, and do videos of the Spider-Man game, but I, I haven't fully decided on that yet, so we shall see. All right, so I think I'm about halfway through, I think. Uh, I don't know if those go, oh. Oh, Nia Ligo, Nia High Ligo, Nia Ligo GX Hyper Rare, which I don't know if I have yet or not. I, I can't say for sure, but I am pretty happy about it. Finally, we got an awesome pull from this box opening. Ooh, all right, I was starting to get worried. I was like, I hope it's not a dud box. So hopefully it's not like the first Forbidden Light box I got. Was it the first one? Yeah, it's kind of like the first one, I think. Um, how many, here, let me open one more and then we'll do a count as far as how many, uh, how many booster packs we got left. Um, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not quite sure if the Crimson Invasion, and I just lied to you again, actually, because I'm opening up another pack. I'm not sure if the, uh, Crimson Invasion online booster, uh, codes are going to work because I'm actually going to try to see if I can get them typed in, so... You, if you guys want to try to take a shot at getting those online codes before I do, go for it. But I mean, I've been pretty busy, so I haven't really had time to do much of anything. All right, so I got seven here, and I got three, six, nine, nine? Yeah, nine, so I have 16. So we just barely hit over half the, the box. All right, so we've only got one Hyper Rare. We've gotten a bunch of Hollows. This is not looking to be the greatest box ever. Uh, this is, which is why I'm kind of going through it fast. I've heard that there were some pretty bad pull rates for Crimson Invasion, which is why I think no one ever really buys them, which is why you see them like kind of overstocked all over the place. But, you know, it's, if I can always get a booster box for something, uh, then I'm going to just hop on that opportunity. And I got two booster boxes of Crimson Invasion, so, I am not too upset about that. So this was another white code card, but it was for a hollow. Ah, oh, man. Uh, I don't know what to do. At least I have a lot of bulk for trading credit. That's something at least. All right, let's see here. Yeah, like I said, you, can, you guys can try for the code cards. Uh, I, I have a feeling there's another holographic. I have a feeling that they might already be taken when you guys get a chance to do it, but good luck anyway. Let's see. Well, I've got nothing. You know what? I'm starting to get the feeling as to now I understand why why no one likes Crimson Invasion, because now that I see it, the pull rates are kind of meh. Uh oh, as I say, oh, it's the Counter Energy Secret Rare card. I actually don't have this yet, I think. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I don't have this one yet, so I'm happy about that. Sweet, two cards that I know I needed, and I, and I got them all in this one box. <laughs> as I was about to say, I can see how the pull rates are pretty bad. 
I don't even, I'm like what, six, uh, eight, eight packs, nine packs left, and I haven't pulled regular GXs yet, so I get it. I get it, guys. Crimson Invasion is not the best, but there are still some good cards in there, at least cards that I like. You don't have to buy a box of Crimson Invasion, but I will. All right, so almost done here. Like I said, just gonna make this quick. You know, I'm not gonna make it into a long booster box opening. Oh man, if I actually don't pull anything else, this is kind of concerning because I have seven packs and these are the only two that I've pulled. Oh wow, this is something that we're gonna have to reconsider in life. Uh, just like anything? Oh man, this is rough. see let us see nope uh oh this is not looking good like okay so i i get it i get the pull rates are bad but it can't be this bad i don't know about you but i don't really count hollows into it i mean i really should do another video where i just rant about how the hollow cards are just so underappreciated now and just because we have all these full arts and these secret rare cards and these gx cards and ex cards I, the hollows don't mean anything anymore to people i and I, I don't mean maybe i'm wrong you tell me you let me know how you feel about hollows but i just don't think people care about hollows because then you get cards like this that even it isn't a full art or a secret rare it's still a gx card it's still shiny it still means important but then you get something like this and it's like, why do I even pull that? And then you get this and it's like, this is the reason why I pull cards. A Guzzlord GX, finally, we get a regular GX card. But anyway, yeah, hollows just don't mean anything anymore. And it's kind of sad. I, I want the value of hollows to come back. All right, so we have three booster packs left. Buzzwall, Savali, and, uh, or Silvali, sorry, and Guzzlord. Uh, I'm gonna say Buzzwall for last, Guzzlord second, the last and then let's open up silver eye right now um wow this is a bad box what there was a hollow in there what was no oh go 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 is my hollow really who let that guy in jeez all right if they're if at least one more full art maybe I mean, you gotta give me something here, Pokemon. Hey, Buzzwall, you know, I pulled so many Buzzwalls, I could have had a Buzzwall deck going, but I didn't want to be that guy. I don't want to be, I don't like playing the meta too much. I don't know, maybe it's just a, a stupid, uh, you know, preference or personal opinion, whatever. But yeah, no, Buzzwall's good, still highly valued, got a lot of credit behind it. Hey, 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 Alolan Executor GX card. Here where all my <laughs> cards were hiding. All right, so let me do a quick recap here. So 36 booster packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, so one third of the box had what they would call good pulls, but only one, two, three, four, five. Five cards were ultra rares and the other eight were hollow rares, and I don't know, I don't know about you. I mean, here, okay, let's let's quickly recap. So, Lolan Executor GX, a, a Buzzwall GX, a Guzzlord GX, Secret Rare Counter Energy, and a Hyper Rare Neoligo GX, which are awesome cards, but overall, this box was pretty disappointing. I don't know, I'm sorry, I hate to say that too, because I, I mean, at least with my Forbidden Light boxes, what, I had five GXs, and then that wasn't including like a Hyper Rare or two Full Arts that I had? I don't know. I just feel like this was a little bit disappointing. So, uh, you guys tell me, you let me know. I mean, obviously these two cards are definitely, um, definitely bringing up the value of it, but overall I think the box could have been a lot better than this but hey i was excited about opening up cards i i don't know about you but i have this really bad habit of buying just random booster packs so i'm glad that i managed to get some of it out today and yeah yeah this is this is what i pulled so um i'm pretty pleased about these two and buzzwell as well so i because i can get some nice trading credit for him but the other two are eh, they're all right 
Uh, but that's gonna be it, guys. Uh, you let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this box, if it was disappointing, if it was worth it, if it was the worst box ever, worst box opening you've ever seen. Uh, yeah, you, you, you let me know your opinions, go for it. It's the comment section, you got freedom of speech. Uh, if anything else, please subscribe to my channel if you are new. I do a whole bunch of booster pack openings. I used to do quite a bit of deck profiles, but my computer is still down. I have not gotten a chance to get a new power supply for it, but hopefully I will get one soon. Uh, but I do also talk about some TCG stuff, some news and whatnot, and I know I've kind of left out the biggest news. There are a lot of people who are kind of ranting and craving over this new Nintendo Pokemon Switch game. Uh, let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee, but I'm trying to hold off until an official announcement because I don't want to jump in with all those, uh, the speculation and stuff. I mean, it's fun to speculate, but you got to be careful how you present it because you don't want to present it as fact as, you know, the real deal. So that's why I'm just kind of holding off on right now just to kind of get everything together and, and just kind of think about how I want to go about presenting it. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Uh, if anything else, just let me know. Contact me, Instagram, Twitter, whatever case you uh, want. And yeah, that's it. Subscribe, like, comment, do what you gotta do, and I will see you all in the next video.